Finding the oldest galaxies will help us further our investigation of the universe in both space and time. This is one of the primary goals of the JWST. Astronomers have used the Space Telescope's output to reveal a galaxy that is older than any we have ever seen, and may have even broken that record twice in the short weeks after the first data release from the telescope. Even if the record for the oldest and farthest galaxy has already been beaten three times, the scenario with this Schrodinger's Galaxy candidate is far less certain. This preprint examines the case of Sears 1749 in a study that hasn't yet undergone peer review. On one scale, this galaxy is being observed as it was around 220 million years after the Big Bang. If so, it would not only easily surpass the previous record for the furthest galaxy, but it would also disprove practically every theory of early galaxy evolution ever discovered. This evolution of galaxies shouldn't have evolved galaxies that quickly. On the other side, other calculations bring Sears 1749 so much closer to Earth that it would be extraordinary in a whole other sense. The most crucial measurement for understanding the early universe is Z, or redshift. In the same way that sirens sound louder as they pass, this measures how quickly an object is traveling away from us by shifting spectral lines towards the lower end of the spectrum. Because of the universe's expansion, a galaxy or star's redshift indicates how far away it is from us and how far in the past it is as we are viewing it. Prior to this year, Z11 held the record for the highest redshift galaxy that we have ever observed. A Z13 galaxy was reported by a team led by Dr. Rohan Naidu of the Harvard and Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics shortly after the initial JWST release. This galaxy was later topped by a candidate at Z14, while values around 8 were discussed in recent research, investigating the furthest galaxies accessible enough to access their metal composition. Therefore, it is a very significant development indeed if the 0.6 to 5 micrometers photometry determination of Sears 1749 as having a redshift of Z17 is accurate. Sears 1749 has three putative neighbors with Z5, 12.5 billion years old. It's possible that it truly belongs to the same cluster as this group, and that the apparent redshift of more than three times larger is only a miscalculation. Since Sears 1749 is both the oldest known galaxy and one that is billions of years younger, Naidu and his co-authors have dubbed it the Schrodinger's Galaxy Contender due to this uncertainty. Even if Sears 1749 is a member of the Z5 cluster, it could still break several records. It must either be a galaxy where star formation began and then largely stopped, or a smaller one that is extremely dense in dust, for it to look as it does at Z5 distance. A preprint by another team also proposes the small and dusty scenario. In certain circumstances, according to Naidu and co-authors, it will be the highest redshift quiescent galaxy or one of the lowest mass dusty galaxies of the early universe discovered so far. Both, while less severely, would also cast doubt on the galactic evolution models that are now in use. Cosmologists would have a significant hurdle if galaxies with redshifts of 5 were able to be mistaken for something considerably older, such as a flawlessly concealed contaminant, is only achievable in a short redshift window, delta Z less than 0.1, the scientists write in their conclusion. It also necessitates particular telescope filter combinations, according to one co-author. So it's not something we should be frequently concerned about. The objective of JWST to advance the cosmic frontier requires urgent spectroscopic follow-up of the spectacular galaxy. We may begin the great project of rewriting physics of galaxy formation at the earliest epochs if the source indeed lie at Z17, the scientists write. The most precious telescope time in the world is unfortunately hard to come by. And as always, if you want to learn more about the James Webb Space Telescope and stay up to date, like, subscribe, check our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.